Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the steps to download the latest ISO file for Windows 11 version 22H2. If you want to test the latest preview of Windows 11 version 22H2, you can download the ISO file to create a bootable media in at least two different ways. You can use the updump script or the Windows Insider program website. Either one you choose will let you download the official files. The only difference is that the Insider website only lets you download previews when Microsoft makes them available in that page. And using the undone script lets you download the ISO file for every preview available in the program. It is important to know that you will be downloading a pre-release of Windows, which means that it may contain bugs that can affect the user experience. Okay, so here is how to download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 22H2. First, we're going to look at the steps to use the up dump script or the UUP dump script. So basically this is a tool that allows you to create a custom Windows 11 ISO file from any public preview. The tool is a collection of other tools and scripts to download the latest build from the Microsoft servers and creates an unofficial ISO file that you can use to install the OS. First, you need to open the uupdump.net website and then we're going to click the dev channel tab. In here, you're going to find the latest preview available in the Windows Insider program. At the time of this recording, we can download the Windows 11 version 22H2 Insider Preview Build 22581. But depending on when you're watching this video, the builds available on this list might be more recent. So select the latest preview and make sure that the architecture that you're selecting is the x64. Then you want to select your language, in this case English, and then click next. Here you want to select the editions that you want to install with the ISO file. So I'm going to clear these options and for my case I'm just going to select Windows Pro and then click next. In here you want to clear this option and select the download and convert to ISO option and then click the download package button. And then we're going to save the package on the computer. Then we're going to open the folder location and then we're going to open the zip folder that we just downloaded. In here we're going to click the extract all button and we're going to extract this to a different folder. Here you want to right click the UUP download windows.cmd script and then you want to select the run as administrator option. If you're using Windows 10, the steps are very similar. We're going to click the run anyways button. And now the download process is going to start and the script is going to create the ISO file. The time to complete this process will depend on your internet connection and your hardware configuration. Once the process has been completed, just press zero to exit the script and then go back to the extraction folder. In there, you're going to see a bunch of new files, but more importantly, you're going to see that we have the custom Windows 11 version 22H2 ISO file. You can also use the Windows Insider Preview Downloads page to download the ISO file for Windows 11 version 22H2 during the development stage. Once you're on this page, you need to sign in with your Microsoft account in order to get access to the download and you need to use this link which I will be also leaving in the video description. Then scroll down and once you get to the select edition section use the menu and select the latest preview bill in the dev channel which at the time of this recording is 22579 but whenever you're watching this video, this number might be higher. Now, if the uh, latest preview is not available on this menu, you'll be better off using the app dump script to download the ISO file. 
Once you selected the option, click the confirm button. Then select your language and then click the confirm button. And then click the 64-bit download button to download the Windows 11 version 22H2 ISO file on your computer. The time to download the ISO file will depend on your internet connection. Now, once you downloaded the file, you can open the folder where you downloaded the ISO file and you can double click it to mount it on your computer. And then you can start an in-place upgrade from within the installation that you're on. This can be either a previous version of Windows 11 or Windows 10. Also, you can use the ISO file to install Windows 11 version 20H2 on a virtual machine, or you can use a third-party tool to create a bootable USB installation media. Usually, you will use the Rufus open source tool, which you can download from this website, which you can do by clicking the latest download available. I already have it downloaded on my computer, so I'm just going to discard this download. Now, if you want to create a USB bootable media for Windows 11 version 22H2, you just need to run the Rufus tool. Then make sure to select the USB drive that you want to use to create the bootable media. And you can leave all the default settings right here and then click the select button. Browse to the download folder where you have the ISO file and you can either use the one you downloaded from the Windows Insider Program Downloads page or you can also use the custom ISO file that you created using the updump script. Then you can select it. You can use the default settings. You can set a custom label. and then just leave all the default settings. This particular tool also includes an option that allows you to install Windows 11 on a computer that does not meet the minimum requirements. And to do that, you will select the extended Windows 11 installation option, no TPM and no secure boot. Once you're ready, just click the start button. And before you actually click the start button, make sure you don't have anything important inside of the USB flash drive because everything's going to be deleted when the process begins. And that's pretty much it. When the tool completes the process, you will have a USB flash drive that you can connect to any computer to try the newest version of Windows 11, which in this case is the preview for version 22H2. Remember to like the video, share it, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.